Welcome back to Lord Fishkill's Curse. Um, well, we have the research notes, we have a lot of artifacts we can mess with, right? Keep those lights off. Oh yeah, all these are magical lights. So that's the planetary motions one. That's the eggs. You know what, let's let's just let's just read the book. Let's start with them, let's go through all of them, we'll just leave the amulet for last. Uh, where's the planetary motions? 7249. Yeah, I can see why you thought that was planetary motions. It kind of... Kind of looks like it. Okay. Um... What's this one? X. Five five two two. So this is interesting to me, right? That is that animation. Hmm, that is not just... What's animation being done? I mean, it's clearly the System Shock 2 one, right? Uh, slucky, wormy thing. But... I'm just wondering in terms of the engine, because... There's uh, a few skeletons that you can use in um, Thief, and they're all hard-coded. And that does not look like it's using... Oh, it might just be segmented and... Yeah, it's, it's not skinned, it's segments. And they're probably just using tweaks. To rotate them or something, I don't know. Maybe, maybe not. I'm gonna dig that, I'm gonna look into that and see how that's working, because... Uh, it doesn't match any of the skeletons I know, unless it, unless it's a real skeleton. I don't know, who knows? It could be, it could be anything, you can... You can do animations, as long as the skeletal structure matches, you can do any animation you want. So I guess it could be anything. That's me curious about it, not anything about the mission per se. That's the clock. This is empty. Check out the clock. Eight oh eight oh. Oops. Eight oh eight oh. It's kind of flapping. Oh, the clock's still going. Alright, which one next? Is that the more object that's slightly transparent? Yeah, and grown. Let's have a look at that one. And that is... Is that Rinsman's amulet? I don't know. It's the eye thing, and that's... Hmm. I don't know which one is which. Uh, 9311. I mean, this is like the thing that suspended the, uh, the sword, right? But this one's made of stone and does not, uh... Just seems impervious to attack, okay. Uh, 0654? I don't know which one of the other two is the amulet we need. Let's uh, have a look at this eye artifact. You gonna talk to me? You're gonna call me little man again? I'm taller than you. It'd be a strange thing to call me. I mean, I guess it's taller than the eye as well. Maybe the eye just had a bigger ego than Garrett. That's, you know, so difficult to achieve, but. Probably not impossible. Um, Floating magical field, simulacra life, constantine artifact, unknown device. Right, this is a no, no one enters the room. 9994, let's enter the room. Okay, so that's not Rinsman's amulet. This is a 
Pode ser. Yeah, it is. Ouch. Okay, I'm gonna take that. Because it's funny. <laughs> it didn't kill me. I thought it was gonna kill me. It didn't kill me, we'll live with it. Rinse Moon's Amulet. 9523. Anyway, now they have another room to spare, right? I did them a favor. Rinsman's Amulet of Indistinction. Okay. Leaves a book of combinations in the cell where you've got the amulet. Okay. Wait, let's just see the um, what's the what's the combination for the empty for the empty page? Empty cell. Nine nine one eight. Okay. Let's open that one up. Let's waste some time. There's only mages in here. There's a lot of mages. Should I waste time? And we'll see how many there are. It is just a rabbit. I mean, oh, with its key. Oh, so some of these guys might have keys as well. Okay, so it's not a complete waste of time to be doing this. I mean. I suppose it is a complete waste of time to be hauling them all the way in here and throwing them in the lockup, but you know, they deserve it. <coughs> and I might find some more loot or keys or stuff on their bodies. Sorry, Rabbit, I thought you were an explodey frog and. Well, the rabbit did not seem hostile. It must have heard me crunching on the uh, gravel there, but it didn't come. And I don't know, breathe carrot juice on me or so whatever, whatever it is that magical rabbits attack with. So maybe they are just ordinary rabbits. Maybe, maybe the keepers just <coughs> have the keepers. The majors. Maybe the majors just keep rabbits for food. I have no idea. all have a wizard's key, alright. We're getting lots of wizard's keys. They share the same key. But is it for different locks? Or is this just the way that they get into the in and out of the place? Just the front door key or something boring like that. I mean, I think now I'm wasting time given they all have the same key, but it'll only take a minute longer. You can skip ahead if you don't want to watch. So, we have the amulet. That means the curse should no longer be in, in effect, which means two things. One, we can go talk to the keeper about this plot that seems to be going on, which is, you know, I suppose we can repay a favor. We're like, nobody's going to do us favors if we don't repay favors, right? And so they did give, he did give me information on how to come in here, the key, set up the deal with the librarian to give me access to the amulet. That is, that is not worthless. That is, that is worth repaying a favor for. But we don't need to hurry to do that, right? We can do that anytime tonight. What I am thinking is we've got lots of rooftops we can explore. We had to avoid before because they were... Well, rooftops and interiors. We avoided before because they were all brightly lit and uh, would have <coughs> caused a great deal of inconvenience. What with this curse happening. Since we're stepping out into the light now and the curse is not triggering, I'd say it's... Although it never was triggering down here, was it? I don't know. I guess it is fair to say that, uh... Are you dead? Oh, I can't just, okay. Uh... 
It does seem like the curse is nullified by this amulet, so that is a good thing. I wonder if I can drop the amulet and still and cause things to summon again. That would be an interesting tool. Do I need a distraction? Summon something, run away. Hmm. Probably we can't drop it. <clears throat> right, I'm not sure if that's all of them. The Archmage is dead in his tower, and that's fine. That means there's going to be a lot of infighting over these other, between these other mages. Okay, what we do have the ability to do is explore other rooms, right? Like... That's very cool. Okay, we got lava. Full of lava, meaning full of water, and generating a wall of steam. I mean... Interesting. Very neat. The particles kind of roar in front of everything, but... It does kind of feel like all the mages in the room are in the, in the entire building came to investigate the ruckus and got knocked on the head. Various plant life. None of it was relevant for us. Oh, that's relevant for us. Loot. So I guess we're just going to explore this place without much danger. Which I'm fine with. Don't need to do much sneaking, which is a nice change from uh, the previous mission I played, Kingsbridge, where I was doing lots of sneaking everywhere. So this one we can just run around. I mean, why do you have a desk with your custom, with your own personal fire at it? It must be rather hot. I guess maybe they use the fires for some kinds of experiments or something. Honestly, oh, you know what? Wizard's key, right? Should surely work for this. I hear a rat. Hello. Do I feed you on the... Uh... No, because this key's not working. Feed you to the worm. Well, I've forgotten the combination for the worm and I don't have the, book com the, the research combinations book anymore, so... It isn't the other key, right? No. Okay, let's, let's keep lock picking then. Just thought I could save some time. was that noise I heard? It wasn't a machinery, was it? It didn't sound like a creature. Oh, it is that. It is that there, okay. I wonder if that turns off all the electric lighting in the building. Lab key. Old friend, and my plan is proceeding along the lines I expected. I want you to be cautious over the next several days. It is very likely that that thief Garrett may try to break in and steal something. He should be getting desperate by now. If he does, try and capture him. He may be ready to break down and tell me what I need to know. If not, see to it that he does not escape alive. I will locate and gain control over the Keeper's knowledge. The gain for both of us will be limitless. Hmm, okay. Construction on the engines for the electrical elementals goes well. Using some mechanist technology would speed things up, but once you buy from them, they are always around. Upgrading, maintenance, always checking on what you're doing. We'll do it ourselves, even if it takes longer. But that's all we encountered. We powered the devices on today for the first time. Voltages and current flow look nominally good, but no elementals have been created. But it is to be expected, it's early in the research. We created our first elemental today, however it was totally uncontrollable. One of the research assistants was injured by its attack before we could dispel it. You'll be alright, just a bad shock to his system. <laughs> Unfortunate. Although we can now generate elementals easily, they are still totally uncontrollable. Unless we can moderate the electrical currents which make up their brains, we will probably have to scrap the project. Damn, I was attacked today by one of them. They snuck up on me just as I turned on the lights. 
I was lucky to get out before it could really hurt me. But I think my ring slipped off just about then. I'll have to go look for it. But not until the shock wears off. I'm keeping the door locked until we can meet and decide what to try next. There's a ring in there, is there? That's that's interesting. Oh, like, we've got problems, but our problems are kind of under control right now, so we can start looking for valuable loot and things, right? Is that fruits? Healing fruits? Was one, right? Anyway. I thought I saw two. No, I guess it's I guess it's just the one. Well, one healing fruit is not bad. I think those electrical elementals are ter of terrible aim. Oh yeah, the, the 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 amulet. Can I drop the amulet? This is research, right? This is a place for research. I can. Um. Okay. That's maybe a bad idea to do this kind of research. Ouch. No, he's, he's too fast, not going to be able to leave him behind. I should have just kept running. Well, he'll disappear in a minute. No, leave the door. Okay, there he is. Alright. Well, that hurt. Used up. I was on decent health, and now I'm on really quite marginal health again. Okay. Um, that's how we came in, is it not? Yeah, the stairs. We've got front doors there. We've got other rooms here we didn't explore. Sausages, cheese, bread, you know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna have a meal. Two hit points is not not bad. Three loot is very good. How did I wind up with this narrow-minded uptight little prick of my roommate? He's so picky and neat. He's driving me mad and he calls me a slob. Air wizard? I don't care if he's the foremost air mage in all the universe. I'll summon an earth elemental and have him dragged to the core of our world. That'll take the wind out of his sails. <laughs> My term here is six more months. I'm sure I'll kill him before then. Maybe he'll transfer if I make it hard enough on him. Everything is nicely lined up on his desk, isn't it? How did I wind up with this disgusting patch slob of my roommate? He's making it so I never want to come back to the room. He even keeps half-eaten food around on the ground. He's a pig! And he calls me a neat freak. I'm simply organized. How you got to be acknowledged as the finest earth mage in the world, I'll never know. If he bothers me again, I'll summon an air elemental and totally clean out his side of the room. Him with everything else. My term here is only for two more months. Maybe I can transfer over to the fire wizard's side. So now it's on his desk, okay. Are you watching me? Yes, okay, fine. Be creepy. See if I care. Well, I will take out the fruit. I do care about that. That's the library. We've been we've explored the library. Ah, what's this? Where the fire was as well? Okay, but there was nothing in here that we needed, right? These guys don't even have a light. Let's switch for their lights. <gasps> Okay. I'm a little nervous about the robot's behavior. All right. That's just the one that runs out here. Like, rabbits should not be able to open doors. That makes me nervous. 
Uh, I have to get the amulet, meet with the keeper again, see if he's found a way to remove the curse. I mean, okay, you know what? I just realized. We should go say hi to the keeper again. We've, we've got the amulet, we've put the book back, let's see what he, if he has anything else to say to us. He'll probably just tell us to go away. No, I would not be surprised. I see you've got the amulet. Gordy, isn't it? Leave quickly and quietly. You might be able to escape more easily through the fireplace in the kitchen. No, he said. Can I? He doesn't know anything more to say. Okay. Text disappears a little too quickly. Kitchen. Have we seen a kitchen? Don't remember seeing a kitchen. Those double doors, do they lead to the kitchen? Wait, they were down this way. This just looks like a dining room, not a kitchen. Oh, that would be the kitchen there. Ooh. <laughs> Great. I'm reduced to stealing the silverware. <laughs> well, at least it's gold. Yes. Why do you call it silverware when it's gold? It makes no sense. Cutlery! <laughs> what do you mean reduced to stealing the silverware? You've always stolen any valuables of any size that you could lay your hands on. That's not new. Um, okay, I'm, let's go to the floor above, actually, before we uh, try and escape through the kitchen, right? Because we kind of were very hastily making our way along this floor, and in fact, I guess we have a few more bodies to throw in the experiment chamber. Come to think of it. I didn't lock it, did I? I don't think I locked it yet. Three of them up there, I think. Yeah. We'll just have all the mages in here. And then we'll lock it up. And it'd be nice if I had a speed potion, right? Let's <coughs> definitely speed this process up. So what are we doing with the... Uh... Where did I get the red key? I don't remember. What are we doing with the holy water now? Anything? Probably not. Don't even remember where all and all oh, I keep going all and all though. Guess if we throw them downstairs, we can save a little bit of time on carrying. Just ferry them all. Or it doesn't hurt too much. Oh, did you not want to come down the stairs? I think because there may have been side rooms up there that we could have explored, right? That I was kind of avoiding. I don't remember. I was definitely just... I don't know. Not spending much time looking around. Trying to get out of trouble. Unsuccessfully. <laughs> trying to avoid trouble. <coughs> um, and... Uh... Well, it was a successful result, but it was not a huge success, as one might say. I wonder if there's any fruits growing in this garden. I could certainly use another healing fruit or two. Didn't really look. Doesn't look like there are. Sorry about the tree beasts. They, uh, it was the mummy. And much better to my mind that it was them. They would probably disagree on that point, I'm sure, but you know. 
<clears throat> yeah, just three beasts. Who are you going to listen to? Them or Carrot the Master Thief? Seriously, now. Sorry about the rubber. Can we harvest it for steak? Well, you know. Small rabbit steak. Apparently not. Carrot. Eat venison only. And sausages. And cheese. And. Carrots? Maybe maybe carrots are rabbit. It's, you know, and that's why he doesn't want to eat rabbit. It'd be cannibalism. Hmm. Interesting theory. I don't think the evidence quite supports it. Alright. I don't know if that's all the mages. We're going to come back down here anyway, right? To go out the kitchen door. I mean, that's the other end, but, uh... To explore the kitchen. And maybe there is somebody in the kitchen. I don't know if it's a mage or just a... Just somebody doing the cooking. Oh, yeah, we got... Okay, we got another one here. Uh, okay, there's no doors on this side. Oh, there's this guy as well. Alright, but there's no one, nobody... Oh, it's the rabbits. It's like, who's, who's opening the door? It's the rabbits. Um, these must be the last two. There was nobody up the spiral stairs. This is the guy at the bottom of the spiral stairs that was kind of hunting for me. So we'll take these two and then we'll actually close the door. And that'll be the end of this long, slow, tedious body carrying for a joke that would be much funnier if you didn't spend 15 minutes on it casting bodies around. You know. You know how it is, though. Sometimes you need a good long wind-up to get to the punchline because otherwise the terrible punchline doesn't make anybody laugh, but at least you have the really long wind-up. There's a relief. There's a sense of relief. Release of tension. And the thing becomes... Not funny, but at least it has some emotional impact rather than just being a complete damn squib. I don't know. Make your jokes bad. If your jokes have to be bad, make them long so that people will feel something. Probably not a good. Uh... <laughs> Probably not a good strategy, really. And the big problem with Shaggy Dog stories is they can be elaborated almost infinitely uh, and there's definitely a balance to be drawn I suppose <laughs> alright so this is one that's labelled empty it's no longer empty we've got an experiment to see how long can we keep mages trapped in an empty room for and the answer is well hopefully the rest of the mission okay Honestly, those mages are lucky that there's only one dead mage among them, and it's the archmage, and it wasn't even me that killed them. It was the damn spider, it was his colluding with the curse, or maybe it wasn't the archmage colluding with him, because we saw the letter down here. Well, anyway, if the person in the kitchen is a mage, then they're the lucky one. They get to let everybody else out. To save the librarian the, the bother, I suppose. Heard somebody in the kitchen, right? Yes. No, okay, it's not a mage. We're going in and out of the freezer, I guess that makes sense. <clears throat> oh, the cold. Is someone there? No. We should experiment with cold killing the spiders, right? We know we can enable a curse whenever we want to. We go into the freezer. Right, 
that's the lights in the freezer. Okay. Cheese, cucumbers, bread. Mmm, deer legs. More cheese, big cheese wheel. Oh. Just gonna get out of his way. Don't particularly want to spook him. There's a whole shelf up there I haven't looked at. <laughs> Thought I saw something. Nope. Hello? Hmm. Oh well. Nothing here. Mm -hmm. Not even any food. I've taken it all. There was a fireplace in the kitchen, he said, right? Don't really see anything up there that looks useful. Oh, we can't go into the fire. Oh, I see. Mm -hmm. Probably should do that for safety. All right. Huh? Hello? Anyone there? Well. Shall we do the science? Ah, uh, who are you? Okay, I'm. I'm just trying. Help! Save me! There's someone here. That's all right. I'm just trying to stop you going in here where you might be in danger. Apparently, the cold does not kill the spider. Cold alone is not sufficient. Okay. Science has been done. I guess we were lucky it was the spider that we that got summoned there. Okay, I'm gonna trust that it's gonna be gone by the time our friend comes back. <sighs> and up we go. Oh, this is a long oh my god, this is uh Ridiculously long ladder that wants you to jump across to another ladder. This is. Uh, not good uh, level design, particularly. It's a good way to potentially get. Um, Let's see. Wait, the laboratory key. Can I... I guess I went into the research laboratory and picked a lock. Oh, we're here. Okay. Oh my god. This is bad news. He's gonna see us, right? As we get out of here. What's <laughs> that? He's definitely having some trouble finding his way around. Is that you, Kevin? I don't like this. P, we have to stop meeting at the alchemist. This is the third time that woman has come by to press her nose against the glass. Yeah, I've written that before. That's that's the same message that was here in Life of the Party. Okay, the question is, do we still have the dangerous cooking pot in here? No, we have a healing potion. That is beautiful. Kitchen. Hello. Hmm. Nothing there. 
Okay, so objectives. Where are we supposed to meet meet him? Alright, we're gonna see if he's finding a way to remove the curse. This is only What we have so far is just a way of avoiding it. Right, disabling it temporarily. We do still want to remove it. Okay. That's safely on rooftops somewhere. I don't know where. Oh! What the hell, we're at Angel Watch? <sighs> That's the bank. Oh, we did say something about the bank, right? Where's it? Where's our instructions? Life has no meaning. Um, that's not, that's the old one. She doesn't love me anymore. That's, that's not what I wanted to do. <laughs> Scrolls. No. Life has... Here we are. Uh, contact, contact, blah, 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 blah. After you've required, meet me on the rooftops northeast of the bank. There's a small passageway in the area. Okay. So this is this is kind of where we need to be anyway. Northeast of the bank. Hello, there's a letter there. Is that the bank? That's the diamond merchant, isn't it? Is there a bank here? Life has no meaning. Oh my heart, how can I go on without her? I've loved her from a distance for so long. We had one wonderful night together and now she tells me she can never be mine. I'm not good enough for her. I'm working class. But there's no reason to go on. I'm just going to jump and get my miserable life over with. It'll be better for everyone. Mom and Dad, I'm so sorry. Jimmy. Uh, uh, she doesn't love me anymore. <laughs> um, don't worry, Jimmy. Any <sighs> more fish in the sea. Is the rooftops northeast of the bank? I mean, it might be, but it says a bank. Life has no meaning. Better not be the sergeant checking up on me. Bank sounds like it's got money. Let's let's put off this keeper nonsense. False alarm, I guess. Oh, <laughs> paperwork. If I ever lay eyes on the taffer who had the bright idea of filling out reports, he's going to be sorry his mother ever taught him how to read. Uh. <gasps> what have I got to live for? <laughs> mm, it's not really a good place to leave that. Be quiet, right? Something move. You don't want to mess with me, Taffer boy. Good, you're probably right. I don't. <laughs> you're under arrest. Yeah. What are you? Hey, get off. <laughs> Help! Guards! Guards, come quick! Right, you can fetch the other guards. Oh god damn it. Safe is all locked up. Oh no. Just don't fetch the other guards too quickly, I'd like Like 
like to have sufficient time to pick this lock, I was saying. I was thinking. Where is he gone? It sounds like he's going back to patrolling. She doesn't love me anymore. He's gone out the door. I did just faintly hear the door close. So I don't know where the guy went running is, but he's presumably still hoping to find me somewhere else. All right. Nice, very nice hanging hanging plants here. But they don't grow fruit. The key, is that the key for the safe? Not the key for this safe. Right, that's the, that's the lever that opens the other safe, right? In here? I like how they're doing the, uh, the dynamic lighting through the door. Oh, there's a basement. That's new. It's not accessible in Life of the Party. Definitely more to do in the bank. Let's try and find this passage northeast of the bank, right? Rooftops. One of these two rooftops. Well, that's not the passage. Ah. You look like a keeper. See you have the amulet. Well, isn't that a tasteless fashion statement? Hopefully you'll be able to dump it soon. You need to see this. Yeah. See this. What is this? Rub your face on that. Damn, Dishkip. Now this makes sense. I must go alert my brothers. We have to prepare. What have you got for me? We've located a wizard who will remove the curse. He has sent you a letter. Here it is. Okay. Return to the apartment for the rest of the night. You can go to the docks. You can go to the docks? What? You shouldn't disappear before you finish talking. Uh, it's very rude. Return to the keeper's safe house where you started. Mr. Garrett, you have persuasive friends. I've heard about the curse thrown upon you, and I'm confident I can remove it. It also pleases me to tweak Lord Fishkill's nose by removing his curse. You see, I knew him when we both studied at Unseen University. He was a pompous ass then, and I'm sure he hasn't improved with age. I will remove the curse for a cost of 500 gold. They will also retain the amulet you have removed from the Wizard's Research Center. Yes, I know about it, but how else could you trouble to reach me? I live in a distant city, Fairhaven. You will have to come to me. I have booked passage for you on Captain Davidson's boat. He leaves the docks at high tide about one hour after sunrise. 
However, Fishkill will be watching for you. I have booked a passage under the name Lord Taltos. Disguise yourself appropriately. I will see you in four days. Travel safely, Mr. Carrot. Ah, nice relaxing cruise. Just what I need. New objectives. Okay. Get 2,000 valuables for your traveling expenses. I see. Uh, and return the key to the safe house. Okay, so we can just spend some time looking for loots. Hello. I thought this was a keeper only place. What's this scroll? Oh, right, that's us. <laughs> we gave him, I guess. He left it behind. That's fine. Not really a secret when we already know about it. There's our first moss arrows. Okay. So we don't have any other objectives. So let's go rob the bank. Wonder how much of the uh, mission is actually uh, as the life of the party mission is present and accessible. That's all right. The rest of the mission is basically okay. Go explore the rooftops, find whatever you want. Oh, he comes out here. Downstairs, but we uh, we can find his friend downstairs. Hopefully, more quietly. Oh, we can pick this lock. Okay, we can actually get one there. And those two banners are waving in the wind. You can't cross the road on the banners there. They've, they've pole has been shortened. Sounds like he's still running, trying to get help. I still have a flash bomb. I do. Key to the door. Back up here. Calm yourself, man. You'll hurt. You'll hurt something. He does have to key to the door. Let's hope they don't, because we don't want them. Uh... That's the, the front door of the bank. Pillars. What's the sign say? Authorized person landing. Well, I have the key, that means I'm authorized. Do 
Do you have any cash for me? You mean you keep it all locked up? And I've stolen her already. What do you mean? Stupid bankers. I guess there's two more street level doors. Wow, lots of guards down here at street level. I'm sure none of them are happy to see me. There's shops and things too. What's that? Hey, is someone in here? I recognize that lady. Oh, I've got lots of moss, okay. Ah, oh, he's standing there. I was wondering where he went. He's just hiding behind the woman. Okay, so they hang around and stand around for a while. Got the old come over there. So I could get over to the shadow there relatively easily, but going past this light, this must certainly going to get me seen. I can see through windows up there. There's a shop I want to try getting into, right? A little bit of time before we run back to the bell tower. I see you patrol, don't you? Does everybody just stand there for ten minutes? If they do. Even this guy's coming there. I'm standing there for ten minutes. This is kind of terrible. You know what? Who's there? Oh, blood! Oh. Blood? I only got two of them. No blood. Halt! You are under arrest. Why? I haven't done anything wrong. Someone will swing for this. <laughs> One way or another, I'll find you. <clears throat> Good luck to try locking them in the bank. Okay, well, the yeah, I've just gone, gone on patrol. Okay, they're going away. They still might see me as I run out, which is, which is potentially a problem. I mean, feel they're a long way away. Just wait, I'll find you. Cannot hide from the law. I've got the lead for you. Take this perk. <laughs> oh, no, no. Uh. Yeah. Cleaning up the rubble. These streets are not safe, but I mean they're safer now. And yeah, sorry about that that weird spider that uh, kind of scared you before. Hmm. Eat all our food. Wow, we're getting no nutrition out of this. There we go. Is that it? That's all my food. That's all my food. 
Oh, I've got two invisibility potions. That's only I have one. I was going to use one. I'm not using one there, but, uh... Mm -hmm. Hello, what would you like to drink? Mm -hmm. Thanks for the tips. Mm -hmm. Should polish this, this glassware. <laughs> Couldn't tell which of those were good or not because they were a custom objects, so not not following the standard. Well, don't mind me. Someone Hello? there? Anyone there? No, nah, there's nothing. Is okay. someone there? Stop tapping with me, please. You guys will be fine. Okay. That doesn't open from this side at any rate. What's this shop? Oh, sir, what do you sell? Dolls? I don't need dolls. Who needs dolls? Crates. You sell crates. I mean, I hope it's good business. What happens if Who are you? Hurry! Over here! Help! <laughs> Please. The cops are unconscious as well. You can join them. You know what? You have a nice bed here. You can you can rest on your pile of crates. You didn't have an alarm. I guess that's that's a good thing. What's in your back room? What's an alley? I guess it's your stock room. Hello, rats. Help. Okay, we can get to the rooftops this way. <laughs> it's Long Daddy's greenhouse. Oh. Uh, I've just returned from my pagan friends who helped me to gather unusual plants. They told me a most amazing story. Some few weeks ago, one of their homes was flattened by a huge piece of iron which fell from the sky. Fortunately, no one was in the house when this happened. In the area, they also found enough wood to build a small home, scattered and smashed. And there seemed to be a horribly mangled body, although it wasn't one of them. They're truly frightened. How can such things fall from the sky? Hmm. wonder if we might need to go check out the uh, astronomer's place. I'm hearing the guard at the window there, okay. my room to get back out actually so I'll just leave it there for the moment. Can I pick the lock here? Yes, this is the armory, right? Oh, I guess they've got... I guess the door got blown open and they replaced it with one with a cheaper lock. Fair enough. Maybe they repurposed it to not store arms anymore either. Nope, still an armory. Good, good, good. More flash bombs. Particularly are welcome. More mines, you know what? I thought I saw a switch. I'm wrong. You are sleeping here. Hovering in the wall. Okay. Oh, okay, I recognize this place, I see. So I don't need my rope to get back down, but I can't get my rope, right? No. Well. 
I can't get my rope. <gasps> God, she's running away again. Hmm. I can't make that jump, can I? I can. Ah, oh, but this place is... They've got new windows there. Surely I can't get a danger to watch. I should try. <gasps> Not like that. Okay, it is possible to get across, but it, I guess it's fiddly. You've got to be properly aligned. And jump. I guess I got lucky that first time, because I'm not managing it this time. Hmm. All right, well, maybe do it this way. Yeah, the window that used to go in there. Okay, let's chop this down. I can. Well, there isn't a window here that opens. Okay. We can go in this window instead, so. Well, this is the bank. <laughs> Right, 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 right. So we can just uh, go around out the street, out the street door. That's my bank keys. Don't even need my bank keys. Okay, we got the crate merchant's back door. Where was the crate merchant? Yeah. flopping around like a wet fish there. <laughs> and then up the greenhouse. Nothing in this corner, right? Well, it has been an hour. I should probably still look about getting back to uh, where we're supposed to be, right? Okay. Doesn't look like I'm getting into the castle of the future from here. It was that doorway that would. That, would, that window that led there, right? Can I make this jump again this way? Probably not, right? I guess I really got lucky that first time. One more go. Otherwise, we have to go back and round through the bank, through the bank again. <sighs> there we go. Who's there? I heard that, you. You've messed with the wrong man, thief. No. This way. In trouble here. <laughs> Come back out here, you capper. Where did the guy who went running go? Hmm. Still have the gold bars for the baby. That hasn't changed. Back here in the Necromancer Spire, and this is. So that was the fire arrow archer. Oh, was that the guy that I just that's standing by the window there was he that I just knocked out? Maybe he was one. Okay, well the astronomer lives near the necromancer tower, right? 
follow this ledge around. Wasn't he? Hmm. I've seen that, but I don't remember. He's still complaining about the Bumblesons? No. Alright, let's right, let's see how it got here. Oh, it was out that way, was the okay. Let's go out that window. Still haven't fixed this elevator. Careless or something. No way, this is a housebreaker's house. It's in the astronomer's house. Did he come down here? Yes. Leave him blissfully unaware of our presence, shall we? I suppose. If we go out the fire escape, but I want to, I want to go up to the room that he's supposed to be guarding, right? So let's just wait for him to come back down. This is going to push this episode a little longer than uh, need be, but uh, I'm okay with that. Here he comes. So the astronomer got his, uh, the astronomer got his, uh, rocket working, right? His glorious trip to the moon. Do you want the gold or the jewels? Well, how about all of it? Oh, I can't go out this door. Okay. So I have to go out this window. All right, I hear you. Yeah, yeah. Go in here, right? Oh, is that where I got the key? Yeah, okay. That's what that key is from. Picked off one of these guys' belts. Oh. Right, let's loot the place. Is 
Seems to have been converted into an office. With some cash storage. Okay. That's it. Nothing more of interest. So we're getting back towards the bell towers. Although it's a little way, yeah. It's just as near Master Boys and Lady Van Vernon's place. So I think maybe the Astronomer was there. There, I mean, through a window in that building, that white building over there. Those memorial uh, graves are kind of are kind of fun. for me here. <gasps> Excellent ladder climbing now. Alright, what was that? I don't know, it was I have no idea. Who knows what it was? <clears throat> oh. Okay, so important questions. Is there a secret back behind that banner? Important question because there was a secret behind that banner in the Thief 2 Alpha. Well, oh, this door wasn't open before, was it? Um, and in Life of the Party, there was not a secret behind it. But it was playing the Thief 2 Alpha is where I learned to do this. Nothing. Right, so the. Astronomer's room is up there, right? Anything else in here? So we'll get us right back to the bell tower. Okay, his, his place is still here. His, uh... Of course, it was his servant he sent off in the thing. He says his, his, his rocket's gone. It makes sense. He's, he's... Oh, he's looking at a foreign planet. Interesting. Stargazer's Journal, 67th evening of observation. I can stand it no longer. Yes, this is, this is the same... All oh, right. Uh, yeah, since my first examinations of that distant globe, that glorious blue jewel, I knew my time here in the city was at an end. But how could I possibly remain content in this quagmire of filth, corruption, and religious fanaticism when there exists a whole new world just within reach, ripe for exploration? A dazzling place I never knew. The means of my departure is almost within my grasp, despite a recent setback. Relic was a fine young servant and a dedicated laboratory assistant. Oh, the anguish as I removed his entrails from the plaza of the great statue. And worst of all, I realised it was my miscalculations that cost the lad his life. I think so far this is the same as the uh, his journal in Life of the Party. How could I have been so stupid? The scientific principle is sound, I'm sure. Using my patented sunburst device, an explosive of the highest magnitude, a thick wooden box can travel the distance needed to reach the stars. How foolish of me to forget the protective layer of lead. But the past is exactly that, and it's time to move on. 
I've hired a new assistant, a drunken old crone named Hilda, who will make the test flight. The sunburst device will be simply placed under the box and ignited from a distance, and Hilda will soar to that beautiful new world. Once there, she is to communicate with me via smoke signal when it is safe for me to proceed. She is, of course, a bit nervous about the proceedings, but a pint of aged gin should be enough to put her fears to rest. To the stars! Yeah, so up to that point, I think, is the life of the party journal. So let's see what happened after that. Hilda's flight must have been a success. I saw the launch. Everything went perfectly. I'm sure her screams were just from the excitement of it all. But she hasn't sent me the smoke signals. Damn her. I bet she found a bottle of gin and has totally forgotten about contacting me. I'll have to find another assistant. Okay. Oh, this is why I confused the other place. There's two places blocked up with crates, right? And one of them is the astronomers. That's why I confused this with that. Oh, oh hello. I, I thought I saw something. Goodbye, I didn't. So, where does this go? Oh. Wait a minute. This was not here in Life of the Party, was it? I think it's the other side of the bell tower that was only in the demo. Maybe I'm wrong. More flash bombs than I probably don't need. 92 broadheads! Maybe I'm misremembering. I think this was only here in the demo. A lot of broadheads. Oh shit. Did you see me? Apparently not. Looked right at me. Yeah, this is... Pretty sure this is demo only territory we're in. Or maybe... I don't know. But there's that, uh... No, it's not. Okay. I'm confused. Oh, I'm, I'm confused. I don't know exactly what's what and what and who's where. Maybe it was moved? From what I remember. Oh, we're here again. Uh, so what am I trying to get to? South and east. Okay. This is east. This is going back to where I need to go then. Right, because I went down there. Does that give me the sewers? I don't remember. So actually going this way is how I should be going. Maybe there's an open maybe there's an open window up there. I'm missing. Well no, there's the open window here. Hang on. I think I want to go back to this place and just out the window at the base of this room because I think that's the way the bell tower. Just out here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> right, that's the way I that's the way I came when I left. Where I went. And yeah, here we are. Here's the bell tower. Looking quite spiky. More spiky than I remember it, to be honest. Yeah, okay, now this is just life's a party trick. Oh, hello. I wonder, if, I wonder if this is an open window down here. Oh, this is the keeper room. I didn't even recognize that as the room. Okay. Well, that was Lord Fishkill's curse. Uh, if does sound like it's there's a sequel uh, sequ secret sequel. I found two secrets, but no sequels yet. Uh, which will be the uh, the sea voyage to the wizard's place to get the curse removed. But uh, the amulet will do pretty well in the meantime. Let's get on the ship and leave town. <coughs> the next morning. To get out of work here. What a cloak you've got there, Lord. That looks like Captain Davidson's cargo ship. Lord Kaltos. <laughs> Yo ho ho and a bottle of rum. <laughs> oh, 
Wow, she even genuflected. I must be paying them a lot. Got soldiers coming aboard. These are Lord Fishkill's guards. Wait, what's this? This can't be good. Complete. Get locked away. Again, I missed all the loot. I'm terrible. Terrible thief. Okay. Well, that was Lord Fishkill's curse and Lord Fishkill's subsequent capture and imprisonment of Garrett, I suppose. A cliffhanger or a dungeon sitter kind of ending. So thanks very much for watching, and I'll see you here soon for the next mission. I don't know if a sequel to this one has been released, so that might be the end of the series, I don't know. Either way, if there is a sequel, I'll be playing it sometime later, not immediately after this. So the next mission will be something entirely different. I'll see you then.